I borrowed my friend Mike Flowers' car. His window broke. And so I went to pull over and put my window down to ask someone for directions because I didn't have service anymore. It's December as I'm filming this and um, it's really cold. And so it's like probably like 30 degrees outside. But when you're on the highway, you really feel it. Um, I'm learning the art slowly and steadily um, of flexibility. So I'm at, a, I'm at Bretton Woods. Uh, great day of skiing the other day. I'm about to take this car, Mike's car, because I, I don't want to screw him over, you know, because, well, that would be a jerk move if I took his car, broke his window, and then gave it to him without fixing it. So there's this really, really cool little car shop that I'm now taking Mike's car to. Mike Flowers and my friend uh, Elijah Daniels, they're actually with me. Uh, which is so cool. We're making music and uh, just creating. It's been just such a beautiful, beautiful time. And I'm realizing the car shop might be closed, but you know what? Um, root for me. All right, so this is my man, Fred, and he has been super kind to help me fix Mike's uh, window for free. And Mike charged me with one reminder that the car automatically locks when you put the, uh, when you leave the keys in the car. And when we were doing the, the window and that came up then we just shut the door because i wasn't thinking and the keys are currently uh in the ignition and so the car automatically locked and now fred is working on helping me legally break into uh mike's car so i can get back in and um yeah get the car back to mike because i'm probably going to be about two hours behind on groceries um as i originally planned uh, his son nick he owns lonesome woods which is super cool because, uh, first of all, this whole town is, is really beautiful in Bethlehem. So if you're in the New Hampshire area, you really need to stop by because they've got, as you can see, antiques and, and all sorts of good stuff. And what's really crazy too, is that I was literally going to stop in here this week as well because I really want to get cross country skis um, for that condo that we're at. Um, my parents got it as like uh, in kind of a, a property, I guess like an investment property where we rent it out most of the time, but every once in a while we get to enjoy it. So. We're uh, looking to get cross country skis, uh, and and they're going to be um, over the fireplace at White Mountain Transmissions. And uh, Fred is helping me uh, get back into Mike's car. And if not, I'll call AAA. But um, he also did this all for free. He just he just offered his time and was just super generous with that. And I literally just stopped by. I was like, hey, can I bring this to the shop for the window? And uh, he pulls out a, a switchblade and just helps show me how to get it right back up. And now he's uh, helping me get back in. So if you ever need any car issues at all, I would rather see you drive half hour, an hour, maybe even more. Heck, go to White Mountain Transmissions, T165 Main Street. That is in Bethlehem, New Hampshire. And while you're here, get your car oil changed, which by the way, I did the past week when I was here with my uh, family for Thanksgiving. I brought the Honda CRV in. in. Uh, it was out of oil, it was kind of screwed over, and, uh, and Fred squeezed me right in. Uh -huh. Line that I rely on the kindness of strangers, so I'm just kind of working on that at the moment. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is not 20 below in freezing. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, and if you need me to FaceTime him, I'm more than happy to. That's that cool. Journey. Right. The old lens will be in New Jersey, B Boston 4164. Keys oh, oh, right in the ignition. Literally in the ignition. The car's on. I'm, I'm here now. Which means that we might need to start. <laughs> Officer, do you have totally your call? Um, yep. I am making a vlog out of this, depending on your comfort level. Can I video it? You can request a copy of this one. Right. Right, you yeah, can vlog it. Um, it was funny because I'm actually doing a whole thing called word of mouth advertising. Mm -hmm. And so when Jeff was unbelievably kind, I was like, oh, I'm just going to make a video and try to plug White Mountain Transmission because no one spends 45 minutes out of their day trying to help a random stranger. <laughs> so that's all that is. But uh, yeah, I'll totally request a copy. That sounds great. How does that work? Uh, That'd be kind of fun storytelling. Have you come right over with me after and you can get a copy of the video. We can yeah. either email or mail it to you. And Let's do it. Here. So photo, video, probably best not. It's up to you. I don't care. Bro, you're all right with it. You can do that's that. hilarious. Oh yeah. And that's how fun oh, it yeah. is. <laughs> I've tried for a half hour. That's amazing. Let's see if we start up and then I'll request my copy. 
there. Guys, it is so wild because I have just come to terms, uh, just like an elf, Will Ferrell, uh, deemed that coffee, just as advertised, uh, the world's best cup of coffee. Um, Bethlehem, New Hampshire is not advertised as uh, the world's nicest town, uh, but I'm telling you, this small town America spot is, is charming to say the least. And I just, I'm a big believer in word of mouth advertising. So far, everyone I've spoken with, um, Sergeant uh, Jeff there, he was incredible. Sergeant Doopy, I believe, um, he was incredibly kind to go out of his way to help me legally uh, get into Mike's car after I got locked out. By the way, we really enjoyed Reckless, uh, the brewing company, the night before. And I'll just have to do more stuff on Reckless, I guess, because the spot's awesome. Their beer's terrific, their food is terrific, and they've got this really, really neat uh, pool room upstairs, too. Like, there's this area, the lighting is really cool, like, great for pictures, great for hangouts. Uh, they had live music. By the way, ooh, yeah, local works, marketplace at Ren. They've got really, really great art in there. Um, for my mom, uh, for for Christmas, I got her this awesome, this was back in Thanksgiving. I stopped in that store and uh, just so much beautiful art in there. It wasn't online, I wasn't looking at the pictures of the art. I was just like beholding the beauty in that store. And all the artists were local from New Hampshire. And I actually, my mom loves moose to that pace. I'm not used to that kind of people pausing and, and helping and uh, yeah, just uh, being willing to be flexible and also maybe give up some of their own time uh, to just help a stranger in need. I really love uh, small town America. Uh, I think that there's something really beautiful about it. People go a little slower. Um, you know, Fred took, I looked over 45 minutes out of his day. I just, you know, checking out the time that I arrived, but I just thought that was really beautiful. And uh, you know, in corporate culture in the city and stuff like that, not as many people get picked up by their wife, by their daughter, and also by um, his grandson was there too. And I thought it was really incredible that Fred, he helped me until then. And then his wife, who was also super sweet, then she suggested that I go to uh, the police you know, station, Bethlehem police, and the lady walking out of the police station, um, I didn't have my mask because, um, well, it was locked in the car uh, at the time. And the lady walking out, I just held the door for her. She had her mask on and I just said, hey, you know, would you would you mind uh, if you just let someone know? I'm just looking for someone um, to help me uh, get into a locked car. Um, and, and she stopped and she said, oh, of course, the Bethlehem police are, uh, are so nice. They'll be happy to help. And you know what? They were so nice. They were happy to help. Those little things. It's like humanity is a really beautiful thing. People are really awesome. I've always loved people. Um, and I just like the idea of uh, sometimes instead of actually Googling everything, actually stopping a stranger who's local. And when you're not, when you're out of state, when you're out of town, when this is not your, your neck of the woods uh, and just say, where's the best place to be? And they tell you, or, or even better, you know, where's the best place to eat? Where's the best place to grab a bite? Because with COVID and everything right now, um, there are a lot of those small businesses, those, those mom and pop stores that they're hurting right now. Um, you know, my Amazon packages are, are here the same day. Like that's literally crazy. We are in the future and it is the present. I order something online and it shows up a couple hours later. Like, what? It's crazy. But if I were to actually take the time to go into Mike Flowers' car, to actually take the time to leave Elijah and Mike recording to themselves and go and get groceries and, and think I was gonna be gone for, you know, an hour, but instead for it to be a whole day adventure. And I still don't have the groceries yet, by the way. Sometimes I can be really productive, but sometimes I just kind of waste time. And, and then at the end of the day, it's like, wow, feels like I kind of did nothing. Um, and I can't feel that way today. I just can't because there are so many small businesses, so many interactions, so many really cool conversations. And, and this is literally my first vlog. I was like, you know what? I'm going to vlog today. And I wasn't even trying for it. That was the crazy thing. Um, I didn't know that this would happen. This is an adventure that I had no idea would be this eventful. And with COVID, because we've been doing a lot of just kind of being inside and, and that's not our fault, that's COVID's fault. So screw you, COVID. But with that, 
uh, hate COVID. I uh, hate what it's done to people. hate how it is just hurting and dividing people. I just, I hate everything about COVID actually. I think it's the worst thing. And I think COVID should go to hell. That's what I think. COVID can go right to hell. And I just banish you there now. But with that being said, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it can be harder to get out and about. And it doesn't have to be actually going into stores because, you know, I, I, I wear my mask. I definitely uh, like to be very careful because I want to, not only for my own health, but for the health of my mom, uh, the health of my family, the health of my friends, right? That's so important. Um, I've actually really changed my lifestyle very drastically because of COVID. Uh, my mom has uh, an autoimmune condition, so we've been very, very, very careful. So this is actually the most adventure I've had, um, gosh, when it comes to like all these interactions in years. I would have never had that opportunity if Amazon Fresh just uh, delivered to my door. I'm realizing that when you're flexible, things aren't convenient, actually, but they're rewarding. And so who knew that this wild goose chase of a day uh, would lead me to just really, really awesome stuff here in Bethlehem, New Hampshire, um, and which I'm very, very proud and honored with all of my uh, authority and uh, following, which is currently none and none, um, to designate and declare that Bethlehem, New Hampshire is the world's nicest town. Thank you, Bethlehem.